What's up? It's your old pal Jesse again. How you done? Figured uh it's a lot of trash in there. Yeah, it's good. Figured uh be a good day uh, to uh you know do some cooking. A little cooking, a little uh little action there. Can't wait. Now you'll see, we're gonna have some chicken. Some chicken thighs. Ow, ow. We're gonna have some chicken thighs. Woo! All right. Yep, yeah, sorry, I had to get my mouse. My mouse working. Anyways. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It is Monday. It is the absolute worst day of the week for especially today. Yeah, today kind of sucked. Uh, so how do we alleviate that? Number one, just make some food. Food makes any anything better. All right. And uh, as always, we will be drinking. Today's drink of choice is Diet Dr. Pepper. That's right. This is going to be a non-alcoholic. Oh, hey, what's up, miss? This drink, the first drink goes out to miss right here. Vader, baby, what's up? Dude, I love that picture. All right, so that's my drink of choice today because um, I've got a food baby in here. Look at that, man. That is disgusting. This is... The most non-sexy thing I could imagine. But from what I hear, dad bods are becoming a thing again. And so, um, so yeah, let me turn this light on over here so you can see a little bit better. Well, there we go. There we go. That's a little bit better, I think. Me thinks that works. So we're making chicken thighs today. And, uh, yeah, bone-in chicken thighs, as a matter of fact. Not a big deal. Not a big thing. Just uh, I've already pre-frost or uh, pre-defrosted my uh, chicken because they were frozen. I know a lot of people like Gordon Ramsay just be freaking out on me if uh, if he knew I was using using frozen chicken. But it's the way it goes. It's the way it goes. But we got our nice, lovely bone-in chicken thighs with the skin still on them. Don't uh, try not to cook skinless too much because. Well, let's face it. Everybody loves skin. Everybody loves a little skin. Oh, by the way, before I forget, um, before I forget, oh, look at that. Are you okay? One of my favorite people in the history of all people has just come in. And, uh, no, it's not Krista. It is uh, it is my friend Courtney. You remember who came over and hung out with us that time? Oh, yeah. yeah. She says, hey. Hi, lady. Before we get started, today's broadcast is brought to you by this lovely fragrance right here. Club de Nuit Intense for men. So for any of you guys that know me, you guys know that um, I make it, uh, I've been aspiring to become a little bit a little bit more dapper, I guess you could say. Trying to trying to get a little bit more gentlemanly. You see, I got the got the thick rim glasses going on. But this one, man, a wonderful clone of the ever expensive Creed Aventus $240 bottle of cologne. But you can get this one that smells just like it. 25 bucks. Right there. Now I smell like a champ. I feel like a champ. Let's cook. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna season these freaking thighs, and I'm gonna pour a little bit of a uh, little bit of oil. Where's my? Uh, be right back. Stay there. I'm coming back. You have to go into the garage. I had to get. Uh, I had to get. Get my big thing of oil. Usually, I'm a little more prepared than this, but I got some oil. I don't really know how much to do there, but. Today, we're going to be major, major heavy on the onions, okay? Because I freaking love onions. It's going to be kind of salty. We've got, we've got the green onions. 
We've got shallots, and we have pearl onions. Boom. So this is going to be a nice chicken thigh. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put it in some white wine sauce, a little cream, little lemon juice in there, and then uh, that's going to be on top of a nice little bed of sautéed pearl onions, peas, and bacon. I'm telling you, this is going to be fancy. You can almost mistake this as a French dish, but I'm not French. I'm saying, I'm saying, onions are life, right? Right, Tugs? Onions are freaking life. And of course, you can't ever make a bad dish without bacon. All right, little uh, little stuff in the pan. We're gonna we're gonna get this cranking up a little bit because we are going to. Uh, oh, I need to prep a little bit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We get started. Got to prep. Turn this back off for us. So start burning down the uh, burning down the house. All right, get hungry. That's what I'm saying. But, but we've got to uh, we've got to get our get our knife sharp. It's always a thing that kind of makes me look a little bit uh a little bit chefy right here, being able to yeah we're going to oh by the way we are using garlic today too and it's going to be uh going to be some of that garlic too. So before we get started though we've got to uh we've got to start getting our uh, getting our stuff right. So we've got to get down to where uh we've got to get down to where we. Can. Really see the chop stuff going on. See my see my lovely computer there. All right, all right, all right. Let me get my thing out here. Get this thing out. Boom! Shallots off of one end. Actually, you know what? Let's just pinch that off. Come on. Twist off. Twist off. I got it, guys. I got it. I'm good. Thanks, babe. I'm good. All right. Boom. Got that off. There we go. There we go. I like it. I like it. My, uh, my thing. Uh, oh, yeah. My, my thing's going on there. All right. Let's get this cut up a little bit. Cut low. We're going to kind of mince this a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Don't lose a finger. Don't lose a finger. All right. We got wrong and... Uh, uh. Just gonna mince a little bit. I know there's probably better ways to mince this. This is more for the flavor than what we're actually gonna be eating, but that's how we roll. One, I just did a crap job of doing that. All right, one, two. So Tugs, what you been up to, girl? Haven't seen you in a hot minute. I have missed your face totally. I know I've been kind of uh, radio silent too, but I do think about you quite often. Oh, that was the worst. Y'all see how terrible of a job I did cutting that up. All right, let's get back over here. Let's uh, let's fix this, man. Let's fix this. Uh, worry, don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna save these. The shallots. Boom, dude. I love shallots so freaking much, so freaking much. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm glad you missed. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, okay. Let me uh, let me get the goose off. Give a good show. I uh so nice little Christmas present that I got a little bit early. I um I was able to land some three day passes to Disney. I'll be using those up, and I am going to Universal Studios with some good friends of mine. He usually hangs out in uh hangs out in my chat from time to time. Hadn't seen him quite yet, but old Charles Zoe, he'll be uh he'll be making a nice little uh, nice little approach. All right. The butt end of the green onions. This butt end. Cut all that crap off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. He uh, he said that you guys uh, hung out uh, at least a uh, last time I saw him. I guess that was a couple months ago or whatever, but it's all good. It is all good. All right. Let's get these uh, freaking, freaking onions minced up. The butt end of these onions. There we go. That's going to be good. It's going to be good. And uh, yeah, he said he said he got to uh, host you guys, and uh, that was super, super, super awesome. I usually have more time to get regular garlic, but I had to get pre and stuff this time. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'll put a about that's the equivalent of about three or four cloves. All right, so there we go: our shallots, our green onions, and our garlic. Know what I'm saying? And so we got that going on in there. So 
what's been going on with me? I'll catch you up if you haven't been paying attention to uh, if you haven't been paying attention to my uh, you know my goings on or whatever. I know I'm a lot more a lot more low key than I used to be, but my thing has been turning uh, my thing has been turning little little side gigs on a freelancing website called Fiverr.com. It is um, I. No, this is about as much garlic as you need right there. But uh, try not to overpower it. I don't want it to be like uh, I don't want it to be like freaking what's it called? Uh, tear gas or whatever. All right, going in for the uh, going in for the chicken. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Got to salt these Joneses, baby. Hold up. Uh, okay. Salt and. Uh, Oh, I just got a whiff of myself, man. I smell great. That Club de Nuit is hanging in there. Boom. Right in here. Smack it in. Smack it. Don't be gentle with it. They don't like that, okay? They want you to kind of hurt them like, I, I want it to be kind of painful, but I want you to, I want to know that you still have, I want, I want to know that I'm still safe, Jesse. And that's what we're doing. That's all we're doing right here. Just exact a little bit of control. Uh -huh. Oh, dude, yes, yes. I got you. You know that. Slapping your thought. Okay, I need to. I need to calm down. My daughter's in another room. Mm. It's a great little gig, man. Um, it has been freaking awesome. All right, let me uh, let me get this going here. Now I'm starting the. Now I'm starting the oil. Been a great little gig, man. I've been making uh. Lots of money. I have, I say lots of money. It's just side money. As of, I started the beginning part of, or the late part of September. And uh, started the late part of September. Oh, by the way, this is cornstarch. That's it. I'm just going to lightly, lightly do this, uh, do this in cornstarch. I made, uh, let me see, about $500 just this month on my own writing YouTube uh Writing YouTube scripts. I'm currently working on a script right now for a YouTube channel that does things like uh, top 10 lists of everything. And today's list that I was working on was the top 10 Christmas movies. Top 10 Christmas movies, man. And it is a highly contested list, I do have to say, because there are some movies on there that, that people may not think are all that, but some things... That uh, people are like, you left this off. You left that one off. Scrooge is on there. Okay. The Polar Express is on there, even though that one gets kind of old sometimes. Um, Charlie Brown Christmas is on there. And Die Hard. All right. It would not be Christmas if we didn't talk about Die Hard. You know it. I know it. Jesus knows it. All right. It is like Jesus knows that on his birthday, you have to have a Die Hard film. Okay. So uh, don't forget, if you guys. Uh, Try celebrating. If you guys try celebrating Jesus' birthday without Die Hard, then um, you're going to hell. Hey, Miss Martine. Martine, how you doing? By the way, I'm just patting these down so you see what's going on here. Got the uh, got the dredge down here. Going uh, going all happy. This uh, this cornstarch it'll give us a little bit of a fry, not a full. Full on fry luck. We're gonna do like with a uh, flour and all that stuff. And uh, this is nothing in this cornstarch, by the way. It's just uh, so no seasonings or anything like that. We're not trying to get some KFC uh, Colonel's recipe or anything like that. We're just uh, trying to get a light sear on this. Man, oh, dude, that freaking skin, bro. I'm talking. It's frozen. Oh, there it is. I know I've commented on this on all of my other little cooking things, but feel no need to stick around and hang out with me in here because I know it's it's just going to get kind of boring from time to time. That's it. So if you guys feel like you need to pop out or whatever, I'm just glad I get to say hey to some of you guys. Um, all that stuff. So if you guys uh, if you guys don't see me enough or whatever. Always feel free to DM me. I miss talking to y'all. You know, I may be low key. 
and I'm still around and still full of love and warm hugs and snuggles and all that. Stupid. All right, what was I gonna do next? Oh yeah, I gotta cut the uh, gotta cut the bacon. <laughs> wash it out, wash it out. By the way, if you guys ever want to uh, ever want to, how do you say? Tell somebody of how jealous you are. Tell that to Courtney. She has actually been in this room right here, in this room right here, and had dinner. And so uh, that is my claim to fame. Is I get to brush, uh, I get to brush shoulders with greatness from time to time. And so that is always uh, that's one of the things I'm most proud of. Is I got to flex my uh, flex my cooking chops, if you will. We had uh, what we have that night. We had New York strip. That's what we had. What? You're so mad about me going behind there to get a tissue. I'm I not. have a cold. I didn't say it. Did he? I didn't say anything. You were just going like this. So I. I was admiring was your beauty, the Gasperson beauty that that comes from you, that comes from your mother. mother I'm in awe upset. of it. Huh? Why'd you look upset? I didn't look upset. I was. I was. I was lamenting the fact that. I'm not as good looking as y'all. I'm kind of, I'm kind of the troll, I guess you could say. What do I need to do here? All right. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is where the, uh... later on, bro. Later on. All right. Hold up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it from there. It's ready to go. Got that sound. Oh, skin side, Jesse. Skin side down. Skin side down, always skin side down first. And it is, uh, it is bone in, so it's going to take just a minute. But we are not. Hey, can you get me some paper towels, baby, please? And thank you. Love you. We are not cooking these Joneses all the way through, man. Not cooking these chicken breasts all the way through at this point in time. Because uh, we're going to take them out and then make our sauce. All right. Here's uh here's one of the best moments of the whole night right here. Right here. Bacon, the pork. Slicing these Joneses into little tiny strips. No, put them over there. Not there. That's wet. Thank you, babe. All right. Uh oh, man, I'm telling you. Pork is uh <laughs> I think if the terrorists had bacon, they would be a lot less uh, a lot less angry at the world, I guess. So uh, we can start a hashtag: terrorists need bacon. Y'all get that trending on Twitter, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, there we go, there we go. I think that's all I need this cutting board for, actually. All right, just washed off. Oh, I'm coming back. Don't freak out. I'm not disappearing. I'm not going anywhere for those of you guys that are worried if I was going to just disappear into the into the nether world. No, nope. I'm just uh, I'm just over here doing my thing. Let me uh, get this back up so you're not staring at me. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got that going. How's this looking? Oh, it's looking good. All right. Cam at a regular regular place. All right. All right. Okay. What was I doing? All right. Here we go. Next thing we're getting ready for is pearl onions. Now, what we're doing with these onions, by the way, pearl onions, super sweet, super good. They are life, baby. So we are going to be making a nice little warm sautéed pea, bacon, and pearl onion, I guess, warm salad to set these pieces of chicken on. And there's going to be a nice sauce that goes over those, man. I'm telling you. But here's the thing: we're going to leave these things whole. We're just going to uh, we're just going to peel them a bit. And so, because uh, it does still come with the cut the top off, cut the bottom off, and then uh, we just peel this jam. Come on, bro. Don't do me like this. That one's bad. Of course. 
Of course, I get these things from the store two days ago. And now some of them are going bad. Are you kidding me? You freaking kidding me. All right, let's see if we can do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nope, didn't, didn't break. We're good. We're good. Boom. And there it is. Pearl onion. There's got to be an easier way to do this crap. Man. Huh. Okay. Sorry. I didn't cut anything off or whatever. But boom. Pearl onions. Whole. Just like that. We're trying to do a bunch of them. But uh, seeing how that works out. Because I did not crap like I was supposed to. That's bad too, man. What's going on here? I'm trying to cut these things up. And I'm finding a bunch of bad ones in here. And it is very off-pissing. It's very off-pissing is what it is. All right. Boom. More onions. Let's flip these uh, pieces of chicken over. Got a tongue. Just trying to crisp up the outside a little bit. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Just crisping them up. Nah, I didn't break anything, old, old tuggy tuggy. All right, let's see what else we got. Is this one good? No, that one's mushy. Okay, let me have a good one here. One. Cut off the top, cut off the bottom. Uh -huh. Drop it. We're good. We're good. I cleaned my floor a couple weeks ago, so we should be fine. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, this is the boring part that I start I start losing people through this part. But it's okay because the end product is definitely, definitely worth it. I promise you that. I promise you. That. What is this even? Dude, I got some. Okay, there we go. We're good. Just get the bad layers off. You're fine. Boom. All right. All right. Slice one and slice two. Everybody, I think, should know how to cook, man. At least something. Like, everybody should have one, one good dish that they can go to. So if you're a man out there, I don't know if anybody's ever going to watch this after this is over. But if you're a man out there, you need to... Uh, at least know how to hold your own. At least on a grill, that is. All right, got that one going. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Doesn't have to. Uh, doesn't have to be an all-out, all-out smorgasbord. But no, no, no. dropped it right in the garbage. That sucks. All right. While well, I'm still prepping these. Still got my uh, still got my stuff crisping up back there. Things going good, as I like it. Now, what we're gonna do in the meantime. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Just taking these out. These are not cooked through. They're not cooked through. Josiah, what's up, bro? Serious, what's up, man? Meet Anna for dinner. Later, my sweetheart. Hit me up sometime. I miss talking to you. Josiah, man, we are making some chicken and white wine sauce. It's about to be freaking awesome. Because in this sauce, in this oil that I just made that, uh, uh what is it? The chicken. That's what it's called. I'm just dumping this stuff in. Boom. You gotta love that noise, and it smells great. Oh, don't forget to get that uh, salt and pepper. Where's the salt? I have the salt. You spilled the salt. Ooh. Who else is in here? Jedi. Oh man. How am I getting all these cool people to come up in through here all of a sudden, man? Where y'all been? How y'all doing, man? I love y'all. Like a ton. Like this is just like a regular type of love that like everybody's like, oh, I'm open. I would literally freaking catch a bullet for y'all. I love y'all so much, man. Let me get all this trash out of the way. I've missed y'all. Missed you guys. Like I said, I know I've been a little, uh, little under the radar, if you will. 
but uh like things going on it uh it has become a uh has become short we got that going in there now we're getting ready to do some of the really really fun stuff in here so uh so yeah man sorry i'm trying to i'm trying to catch up bye courtney love you a great deal if you're still in here and hear that i love you a great 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 deal all right got that out of there so we're getting ready to hit the magic part of the cooking all right the magic part of the cooking so i just finished cooking my uh cooking my chicken in there i've got my garlic i've got my shallots and i have my green onions in there so we we're uh we're hitting that pretty hard because what's getting ready to happen now is going to freaking blow your minds, all right? Freaking blow your minds. Ready? White wine! That seems like a good amount. I'd say, uh, what is it? Three quarters, uh, a third of the bottom. I got some Pinot Grigio. And we're gonna let that reduce down a little bit while I finish off uh while I finish off these pearl onions that I got going in here. This isn't all of them. That was bad, of course. I think my girls are gonna miss eating these onions, though. They're not big onion fans here. At least my uh, my daughters aren't. You know what I'm saying? Jedi Bunny. Uh you guys still in here, man. I appreciate y'all hanging out, man. I wasn't expecting all of this uh all of this greatness and stuff. Oh, by the way, because you, you guys know I'm terrible, terrible at uh, multitasking while I do this stuff, man. So if you're on the tweet machines, man, get out there and uh, do me a favor and uh, give me a give me a share if you can. I don't do this to get I don't do this to get viewers. I just like uh, just like being with y'all. Oh, how's it going, Nate? Miss, what's up? Back work? Are you working tonight? So what I got going on right now is I've got some white wine sauce, some white wine reducing in here. And what we're gonna be doing in this one, get this back burner started, we're gonna start sauteing our whole pearl onion. I don't think I have to chop anything else, do I? No? No! Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Chopping our pearl onions. And then after that, we're gonna throw in our bacon, and then after that, we're gonna throw in our peas, get a good sauce, mix it in there. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's okay, babe. You don't have to be on Twitter. I just didn't know who was anymore or anything like that. And I got my really cool thick rim glasses that are fogging up. Take a swig of my uh, non-alcoholic diet, Dr. Pepper. That tastes so good. Tastes so good. Uh, I thought I was going to burp. All right. So we've got our white wine, white wine reducing just a little bit, and we are going to add some chicken stock as well. Mm. We're going to let that Jones reduce by about half of it, okay? Half. But while we're in there, hold up, I'm just going to pick y'all up so y'all can see what I'm doing here, okay? Don't freak out. You're not flying. I'm just picking you up. Just picking you up. All right, here we go. We got our stock right here. This is about to uh, this is about to pick up and start boiling. We're about to add some serious, serious, uh, serious stuff right in there. Watching my kids watching minute to win it, and uh, in with this, uh, in with this nice little concoction as it gets ready to start boiling. I'm gonna add a couple other really cool things. All right, no, don't. Dude, I don't have a donation link, man. I just have just me, man. Uh, I never made it far enough to make money on this thing. I kind of, I, I kind of went in another direction. I don't know. Anyways, heavy whipping cream, Publix brand because Publix is amazing. Uh, how much am I going to use of this? I don't know. Let's see what happens to it. Uh, oh, that looks good. Why not? Let me get my. Uh, uh, my thing. Here we go. You guys like the fancy camera work, man? Fancy camera work going on there, bro. Get this junk stirred up a little bit. Oh, why not? Maybe just a little bit more because 
There. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. That is total, not gentlemanlike, not something a dapper person would do. All right. Woo! That's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, one last thing. Leonard Juice. Uh, what do you think? There's no squeeze top on this, by the way. I made that mistake one time. That sounds good. It's about good. Now, here's my stir my stir stick. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo, baby! Oh, baby! All right, here we go. Give that just a little uh give that just a little time to reduce, but in the meantime, we are going to our olive oil. Now, this is the treasured olive, a place right here in Beach Haven, Florida. For those of you guys that know me, you guys know that I don't give a freaking rip about being docs because I haven't made any of this. That's just what uh that's just what being a nice and caring and compassionate guy is all about. Not making any of Although I could just uh, Look at that boil. That get boil. All right. Anyways, what's I saying? Oh yeah. This is hard. Giggity. Stop it, Jesse. I'll put this down. Yeah. Oh, I just get. Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. Got it. Cool. All right. This is a hot, hot pan. Hot pan. So we're gonna go. Uh, go in here. You know, surprisingly, a lot of, a lot of olive oil, if you will, is not really olive. Made of olives is a lot of canola and veggie oil, all that stuff. By the way, well, let me see. Cooking with clan gas. Oh, dude, I am right. She's talked to me a lot about doing a uh, doing a cooking a cooking thing before with her, and I would love to, man. I uh, I freaking love her. Man. All right, anyways, hold. That's right, hold. That's what we're gonna do. I cut a couple of them, but it's all right. We're going whole. Wait, 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 wait. We let that kind of simmer a little bit. Simmer and shine, simmer and shine. Take the take the salt. Here we go. Hey, fire girl. What? You did a back bend. It's okay. It's still good enough, right? Yeah. Daddy gets excited when his dancer girls do some really cool stuff, man. I love my family. I have awesome daughters that I uh here with my insanely hot wife. You know, dude, I'm telling you. Muy delicioso. That's right. I'm sorry I haven't been paying attention to the uh, chat very much, but working on it. All right. Keep that sauteing up a little bit. All right. Now here's what's going to happen. Okay. I've still got this reducing. Thickening. And if you guys know anything about reductions, if you guys know anything about reductions, it's all about intensifying the flavors. Intensifying. That's right. It's a big word there. Hey, baby. Hey. All right. So, we got our pearl onions. They're uh, sitting here cooking in the back. Get some color on them, too. That's okay. Don't be afraid of that color, you know? That was so sweet. What a Jedi. My daughters are uh, incredibly, incredibly awesome. Hey, come here, baby. Show everybody your uh, Halloween outfit. Here she comes. This is my daughter, Ashlyn. And today, she got to go to dance in her Halloween outfit. Look at that. She is a pirate. And a very awesome looking pirate, right? Yes. <laughs> She's like, all right, goodbye. Hmm, I got that out for some reason. I can't remember why. All right. I got the reduction. I'm 
move those around a little bit. Ooh. We're ready for the we're ready for the cool part. The bacon. There's a lot of bacon in there, so we're gonna let that cook for a good amount of time. Now, magic's getting ready to happen, guys. This is where the dish really, really turns it up a notch. We got this reduced by about half now. So, ooh, ooh, come on. Hold up, hold up. I got to break some of this bacon up. Mm. Now these pearl onions are cooking on the bacon grease, man. Are you kidding? All right. Chicken breasts. Or the chicken thighs, whatever these are. They're going back in the sauce. One, two, and three. Boom. Back in the sauce. And then. Uh, lid on. Nailed it. I'm telling you, man, once you just you just wait until we plate this mess, man. When we end up plating, it is going to rock your freaking world. All right. Oh, yeah. I'll probably end up dumping a little bit of this bacon grease in a minute. You know what I'm saying? By the way, here's a little hack. Because uh, I know you're not supposed to pour grease down the, down the drain or anything like that. So here's a nice little hack for you. I don't know why I got that much out or why I got that out. I've got these things right here. Um, keep a coffee mug, and I put my bacon grease into the coffee mug, and then I put the coffee mug into the fridge. So it stays hard, stays solid, giggity. So what I do is every once in a while, I just dig that mess out like so and throw it away. How simple is that? Do it one more time because uh, – Everything good comes in a pair. I don't know that for a fact. I just made that up because it made me sound studious and everything. Boom. Now I've got room to drain some of my bacon grease, which I will be doing as of this immediate moment. Whew. Ouch, 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 ouch. Four, four, three, Yes. Can you give me some tea? Um, give me just a minute, baby. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's check on our sauce. Dude, that sauce looks good. Now, the reason you want to make sure that it stays covered is because the more of that stuff rolls and boils and boils and rolls and rolls and boils, the more it evaporates. But... If you've got a good thickness to your sauce, you keep that on it so that it doesn't reduce anymore. Just saying. Locks in moisture. That's what we do. And now we're just gonna let some of this stuff uh, let some of this stuff get with it, keep mixing up these veggies, and soon, very soon we're gonna add some peas into that thing. Don't be afraid of using frozen peas. And uh, saute, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Whew. So this is the boring part where I just sit down, I chill, I relax. And, uh, and yeah, just kind of let things happen for a second. I think I may, uh, may take the top off of this, uh, may take the top off of this thing. And I want to get it, I like a good thicker sauce. I like it more like a glaze rather than a sauce. That's just me. I'm not looking for some au jus sauce. I like a good glaze in my salad. <laughs> right. Actually, the ratio of bacon to onion and peas is going to be quite a bit off. All right. Let me get this. 
We're about uh, not having gunner and medicine yet. We're about ten minutes from eating. All right. By the way, I'm just bagging this up. This is this is where I just kind of make stuff up as I go, and uh, just try to fill in time. So, if you guys start feeling bored, like I said, feel free to duck if you get bored. I understand. I know the way things are. I know the way things are. It's no big deal at all. But I'm gonna keep this bacon for later because you never let bacon go to waste, ever. All right, that's stuff about that, Kristen. Put this back on here. Yeah. All right. Yes, you all got a glimpse of my uh, my awesome hot wife there. Didn't stay on too long. She's not very. Uh, she's not all about being in the camera. She's actually in the two year history of me being under the exaggeration nation name. She has never once been in a video. Never once. But you've heard me talk about her. She is there. I'm going to flip these, by the way. By the way, babe, I totally didn't realize that I have I have bone-in chicken thighs rather than boneless. Sorry. Okay. Y'all still with me? You still good out there? Give me a thumbs up or something. Let me know you're still good. Oh, oh, okay. One more time to drain this off. Because uh, in just a second, we are going to be doing the next cool thing, which is adding the peas to the mixture. Drain off the fat. But not all of it. Not all of it. You still want that flavor in there. Put a piece. There it is. Mm. Oh, that may actually turn out all right. It'll be pretty, to say the least. Ooh. He's baking the out. Yes, sir. Got it. Got it. Bam. Will. What's up, brother? Man, the crowd keeps getting better and better, man. I've had everybody stopping by here today. I had Josiah the juggernaut himself. Man. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Good to hear from you, man. No, I'm talking a lot usually because Mondays are usually like the worst days of the week ever for anybody ever. So these are good, good little ways for me to keep up my morale. Pop on here, talk to my friends, and um, <laughs> swigs. Hey, man, just shut up. That's why you know it. All right, I think I think we're done cooking this. Just going to uh, all right. Ooh, look at that, man. Look at this, huh? No, he isn't. Look at that, man. That is what I'm talking about. That is going to be a really good base for uh for our chicken and sauce. Let's see, where's the bowl of stuff here? And, uh, scoot this on into hell. And that will be done. Just leave that there. Mm. Dude, it is pretty colors, man. That's <laughs> he said, Look at that, Dad Bod. You're freaking right there, Jeremy Swig. Or, um, I'm sorry, uh, Will. That is exactly what this is. Side information. What am I doing there? Get off of that. All right. Let's look at what we got here, man. Look here. It's my thing here. By the way, sorry, I'm making all uh Woo! Woo! Flip that again. Oh, baby. 
Oh, dude. The thick this dude. Hello. Mm. Cook that down about two more minutes. That thing will be good. Woo! Hold up. Hold up. My favorite part of cooking. My favorite part of cooking. Wait just a second here. Get that. Oh, that's good. Get some of the boiling hot sauce. Let it cool down a little bit. Mm. Oh, man. That is lemony. I love lemon. By the way, when you put a top on something, it helps it to cook a little bit faster, too. Man, so, oh, boo, what's up? How you doing? So stick around for the end. Look at that. Woo, honey badger's good. Mm -mm -mm. Taking a drink in my uh, good non-alcoholic diet, Dr. Pepper. Because as Will pointed out, the dad bod is, uh, the dad bod is happening. Ugh. Dad bod is happening. But like like Will was also saying, you don't ever trust a skinny person with what to eat, where to eat, any of that stuff. No, that's not the <laughs> – there's Charles. Where you been? You're coming in right at the very end. Yeah, Mr. Charles finally came in. You're welcome. What? I told Alexa to tell him to go in there. Look at – look at my daughter. My daughter texts – the daughter of this man and says, Hey, tell tell him to go in and watch him cook. And uh yeah, don't you worry, I am rocking the dad bod. Believe it. The dad bod is happening. But like Will was saying earlier, you don't ever trust a person who is not at least a little fat. Don't ever trust them to go, know where to go eat or how to cook properly. Well, not always. Some of them work out. I don't work out. I work out my uh I work out my vocal cords because I talk a lot. <laughs> Excuse me, that's really bad. Hey. You ever get one of those looks from your significant other? Where she just kind of you're talking and you're talking a lot of crap. She just walks by and goes and st stands there just like this. I look over at her and she's like, yeah. And she buggers off. Why do I look like a hipster? It's the it's a thick glasses. Don't I look studious? By the way, once again, today's broadcast brought to you by this lovely fragrance here, Club de Nuit. And remember, this is a uh, this is a clone version of the two hundred and fifty dollar to three hundred dollar bottle Creed Aventus, the best smelling cologne in the history of all colognes. Good pineapple scent with a dry down of some other citrus flavors and leather. Ooh, so so good. But that's twenty six bucks, and it's Beautiful. All right. Here we go. Woo! We're done. We are done. All right. Get ready for the moment of truth, folks. All right. Let's see. How are we going to set this up? Uh, yep. Why not? Let's put it right here. Y'all hang out. Start with the plate. That's the, uh, oh, let's not use that one. It's cracked. There we go. The, the key to eating a meal is to first make sure you eat off of a plate. You know? <laughs> Bugger off! <laughs> so, always start your meal with a plate. That's number one. Then we're going to go with this nice little concoction, right, y'all? Yeah, sneak a sneak an onion or two on there. This is going to be my wife's plate, so i got to make it look really, really nice. Put a little, uh, put a little bit around the edge, too, because we don't want to be all perfect. You know, we've got to make it look a little bit, a little bit something. Else. All right, got a little bit of that. 
Then, where is it at? Here we go. Then on with, ooh, on with the chicken. Followed by a nice dollop of the juice. Nice dollop of the juice. Oh, one more one up because remember there's shallots and garlic and everything down there. Booyah. Mm. And then finally, we're gonna hit this Jones. Uh whew. we're gonna hit this with a little bit of time. I don't have any fresh. A little bit of time and a little bit of parsley. And that, my friends, oh, breaking my house. This, my friends, is the dish of the day right there. Mm. Look at it. Look at it. Take it in. The glory, the grandeur. It's dinner time. So, I'm going to let y'all go. That was my journey towards the, uh, towards one of my favorite chicken dishes ever. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just saying. Uh, usually, the reason not a lot of people hang out with me on my cooking shows is because, you know, when you get like Rachel Ray or whoever that chick is back in the early 2000s, they like start making some stuff and in a 30 minute session, they do this, do that or whatever they had. That's, that's just, that's just bull crap. But Jesse takes you through the whole boring process. And for those of y'all that stay with me, more power to you, you heroes, you stalwarts of awesomeness. Cheers to you. So everybody's still in here. Griggs, Swigs, whatever your name is. Sorry. I know you better than that. Swigs, Mary, Josiah, Will. All my homies from earlier, there you go. Give me one more look at it before we start crushing this dude. Oh, man. Dude, look at that. I'll get it from this angle. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo. It smells good, too. Anyways, love y'all. Take it easy. Next Monday, I'll find something else to cook. Maybe it'll be fish. <laughs>